okay, seriously, after watching this movie, no more fantasies about handcuffs. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. What's going on, guys? I got a great recommendation from Amanda G over at Candid Cinema. Be sure to follow her on YouTube and Twitter. I've got links down in the comments. Definitely go follow her. Check out her content. She's great with movie reviews and great at movie recommendations because this recommendation was outstanding, and that's Gerald's Game. First and foremost, Carla Gugino holds this movie down with incredible acting, great way of elevating, great play amongst herself and amongst Bruce Greenwood, who's the only other actor in this movie, really. I mean, just a fantastic acting job by both of them. She knows how to elevate so well, and really, the fear just enters into you as you're watching her struggle to get through this crazy time. I mean, a sex act goes wrong with her and her husband he has a heart attack and then she's left stranded and handcuffed to a bed where the frame won't move it's insane and you know what it's crazy because it's a very small movie in a couple of settings only the main setting being in that bedroom and to be able to play off of that plus to mike flanagan to be able to create skin crawling moments in a scene in a movie with such a small setting we're locked in this room with carla gugino's character for most of the movie and she just makes the best of it this is well written to a t it personifies fear and dehydration and hallucinating into these characters and it's herself and her husband and she sees different versions of them and they're kind of like the angel and demon on her shoulder that have come to life and through the movie we also learn that there was a tragedy with her father in childhood that she hid away from everybody and you know it's just so well done and that ties back into her husband she's always surrounded by bad guys and unfortunately there's another character in this movie this big hunched over hunchback guy called the moonlight man i believe is what they were calling him in the movie and he did not seem real he almost seemed like the grim reaper like i thought he was some personification of death and i thought she was only imagining him but he ended up being real so what a fantastic movie i cannot wait to hear people's thoughts on this one because I'm late to the game. So you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I did spoil this time because I had to dive into what happened at the end there. That was just such a great, great reveal. I mean, I did not see it coming, I admit. It was a surprise to me. I thought the guy was definitely death. I thought he was just some kind of personification of death, but he did eat her husband's face off. So that was an actual guy. And this was actually really scary. And what was so scary about it is just the fact that it was this confined space and it made you feel so claustrophobic and closed in the whole time that, wow, it really hooks you in. So definitely check out Gerald's Game. Thank you so much, Amanda, for recommending this one. And guys, if you have any recommendations, let me know. Hit that subscribe button if you like this content and we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.